TSI 2140 Job Mode. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek and in this video tutorial I will explain you how the job mode works on the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. But first of all, let's take a quick look to a few slides. The job mode allows the user to configure a database on the CSI 2140 and store all kinds of data inside the job mode. This data can be transferred to the AMS Machinery Manager software for additional analysis and storage. The job mode is applicable for four different downloadable programs on the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. The job mode is active in the Analyze or Advanced Analyze module, in the Balancing module, in the Advanced Transient module or in the ODS model module. And the job structure is always the same. Now, if you want to work in the job mode, there are roughly two things to configure. First of all, you have to configure a job. And secondly, then you have to configure the kind of data that you want to measure. And then this data will be stored in the job mode. So let's start with configuration of the job. If you configure a job, you have to specify an ID code for the job. Inside a job there is an equipment and an equipment has an ID and a description and inside an equipment there is a measurement point with an ID and a description. So there are three levels to configure. Job ID, equipment and measurement point. Of course in an equipment you can add several points and in a job you can have several equipments and then you can have several job IDs on the analyzer. After configuring a database based on this structure you can move over to specify what you want to measure for example spectra, waveforms overall, true zoom, peak phase, balancing, transient or ODS model data. And after collecting the data you can store the data and when you push store data you can assign it to a certain level that you have configured in the job. Now that was a theory, let's now take a closer took look to reality. So what you're seeing here in front of you is a home screen of the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. And we will use the job mode starting from the Analyze. So F7 Analyze. And I go first to Job Setup, F9. And at this moment there is no job created. Normally there are three options here. Change job to toggle between different jobs, create a new job or review data. But once again at this moment the memory is empty so we'll start from scratch. We're gonna create a first job. The job will have automatically job 0 as job ID. If you want to change the name, go to F2 Job ID and now you can change the name to whatever you prefer. I push back to go back, so Job is 0. All job ID is Job 0. Alternatively, if you have roots in the analyzer, you can also recall a ID name of a root equipment, so push F1. Then you see a list of all the routes, in this case only one. Select the route and here you see all the names of the machine. So if I now select for example boiler feed pump number one, this will be immediately inside the route. Alternatively he had created originally equipment one. Then you can change the ID and the description here by F7 for the ID or F8 for the description. Automatically as soon as you have an equipment there will be already one point. If you want to edit the definitions here go to F5 edit and now you see for your four channels here ID 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now let's take the example where we will measure X horizontal, vertical 
and axial so I'm gonna change ID 1 F2 in horizontal ID 2 vertical and ID 3 axial so now later on when I collect data I will have here horizontal vertical axial as I told you before inside an equipment you can also add a second point so F4 add point and now you have a second one and this can be for example the outboard and this can be the inboard so if you want to improve the labeling go to edit measurement point and I'm gonna change this to horizontal outboard vertical outboard and axial outboard and I will improve the labeling here so I will convert this to inboard horizontal inboard vertical inboard and axial inboard okay now we are ready to collect some data here so I will start the machine and I will go to manual analyze I will measure from 2000 from 0 till 2000 Hz 1600 resolution lines with 5 averages and I will measure only horizontal, vertical and axial so I'm gonna disable channel 4 I go to F12 input setup select input and I deactivate channel 4 and I will collect the data now after data collection I go to F9 store data and this was the inboard so now F8 store data to measurement point and as you can see the three spectra are stored here now I move the sensors to the outboard location and I retake data the same setup and I also can store it now store data to outboard store data to measurement point F8 and the data is stored if you want to review the data now go to F7 review data and then you can choose between reviewing waveform spectrum if there was peak phase data available you have peak phase and so on so let's take an example this is the active line view stored data and here are the three spectra now I'm gonna add a point at measurement point and I will collect now peak phase data for example so I go to manual analyze set analyze mode I go to peak phase I check the tag setup the tag is working because the speed is coming in and I collect peak phase data during a run out and when the speed is low I stop data collection and now also you can store the data by F8 I will store it to this point so store data to measurement point and as you see the labeling is correct and this data is now stored in the job mode on the analyzer all this data can be also transferred to the software and this setup is similar if you want to collect waveform through zoom overalls and so on we are now at the end of this video tutorial 
please visit our website at www.assetweb.com-mhm for other video tutorials and product information. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.